Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Yes, we've got a, a brand new set and we've got a brand new setup going on here. And uh, we hope you like it. We're, we're trying to make it so it doesn't look like I've been kidnapped by the Taliban. Uh, rather, we're, we're just trying to kind of step things up a little bit as far as our... Uh, <laughs> as far as our presentation of five minutes with Phil. So I hope this blesses you, okay? Now, uh, this week, here's what I want to do this week. This week, I want to I want to pull some verses from uh, one chapter in the Bible, but all of these verses have just some great, great truths for us as far as our relationship with Jesus. And uh, we're in Psalm 145, Psalm 145. And David is writing uh, all the words to this psalm. And I, I'd like to like spotlight one or two verses each day this week and kind of give you something you could chew on and something you can kind of hold on to as you go through your day. So with that said, I want to start today. I'm going to get my, my eyes on here. I want to start in verse 8. So we're in Psalm 145, verse 8, and we're also going to go to verse 9, okay? So here we go. Check this out. It says, The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and rich in love. The Lord is good to all, and he has compassion on all he has made. You know, there's a view of God that exists out there that I think is so wrong. And this scripture really turns that misleading idea of God on its head. <clears throat> Because I think sometimes we think that God is just th this angry tyrant that, that cannot wait to catch you doing something wrong. And the truth of the matter is, that just is not the case at all. He is uh, really just the opposite of that. And, you know, I read this scripture and it says, The Lord is gracious and he is compassionate. And he is slow to anger, and he is rich in love. I want you to really chew on that for a minute because I think a lot of us believe that the, the moment we make some kind of mistake and the moment that we mess up, uh, God just cannot wait to get us, and God cannot wait to get angry. In fact, that, ju that just kind of flips the switch, and he goes from being this wonderful, nice Lord to being this really mean figure that, that uh, just... He is out to make you miserable. And you know what? That is not God. The Lord is gracious. He's compassionate. He's slow to get angry and he is rich in love. Man, how many times have I not gotten things right? How many times have I messed up? And, and I think, okay, well, now God doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. God, God has kind of expelled me from his presence. He's expelled me. From, uh, from, from anything that uh, good that could possibly happen. And that's not the, the way the Lord is at all. Again, he's gracious. He's compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. And the scripture, uh, the last verse is big. The Lord is good to all. And he has compassion on all that he has made. So the Lord is good to everybody. And that includes you. And I want to speak to the person today that maybe feels like they are the exception to the rule. That maybe you're the exception to scripture. <laughs> that, well, that applies to everybody else, but it doesn't apply to me. It applies to you. The Lord is good to all, and he has compassion for you. And so today, I just want you to get this idea that regardless of how many times you get things wrong, and no matter how many times you've been unfaithful in your walk with God or, or disobedient or you, you, you messed up, he still loves you. And one, one prayer of asking God to forgive me is enough. And he forgives me. <clears throat> and he pours out his love towards me. And he gives me his grace. And today you can experience that same thing. So today, would you walk in that? 
He's gracious, he's compassionate, he's slow to anger, and he's rich in love. All right. Love you. Thank you so much for joining us. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.